make a classic French dish. Let's make les œufs en merette. Poached eggs in wine sauce. Everyone, this is Bastien. Oui. How did you learn how to make this dish? Pepper. Pepper is my grandpa. Pepper was a professional cooker in Dijon, the main city of Burgundy. You know, Pepper is like Master Yoda in the kitchen. Truly wonderful, the mind of a child is. And we have Master Yoda's recipe. First, let's prep. You'll need lardon, which is basically thick cut bacon. I've already made this dish for friends and it was a success. Cut up onions and shallots. I'm really sensitive about onions and shallots. Are you? Yeah. Or maybe I'm just sensitive because I'm French. <laughs> Smash some garlic which we'll throw in towards the end. Pop that bottle of red wine which we'll poach the eggs in and it's the basis of the sauce. Okay, so Kelly, okay, yeah, this is a good wine because a good wine equals a good sauce for les ormerettes. You don't have to buy a really expensive wine for les ormerettes, but don't take the cheapest one at the supermarket store. Put the wine on heat, just make sure it doesn't boil. And did I mention that it's perfectly acceptable to partake in the wine while you cook? Then crack your eggs into little containers, which will make it easier to quickly add them to the pot for poaching. That's looking good. Yeah, that's looking, it's time. And poach away. Set poached eggs to dry on paper towels. Then put some butter in a saucepan. Bastien get the good stuff, beurre bordier. Once it's melted, add the lardon. Then a few minutes later, add the onions and shallots. And... Organic herbs who grew up in Paris. Ah. You know. <laughs> so throw in some herbs of your choice and the garlic. The so color is... Yeah. Getting really nice. Looking good. So it's time to put the flour. Stir in the flour, then slowly add the wine which you poach the eggs in. To get the right saucy texture, you may need to add some more from the bottle. Then olive oil in a pan to toast your croutons. Because we are going to do some small croutons, really traditional French, and a bigger slice with this amazing bread, uh, which comes from a boulangerie next across the street. It is called Pain du Coin. Pain du Coin is quince bread. I've had Pain du Coin before. It's so freaking good. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you got this. Rub some garlic on your croutons. Oh, and it's not a bad idea to quickly warm up your poached eggs in the oven. Now, plate. Put the sauce mixture in a bowl, followed by the eggs and croutons. I hope that makes you proud, Pepper. I think I need to find a way to have this be a part of my everyday life. Bastian, you're amazing. Yeah. Woo! And don't forget, be quirky. You will find a lot of variations of this recipe because this is a traditional and old-fashioned recipe. I talked about that with my grandfather and he told me some people put uh, mushrooms in the sauce, carrots or potatoes if you make it like a proper dish. But this is more like a starter. You took me unprepared. <laughs> I must just knock that wine over. <laughs>